Hello and welcome back to another video from Jebba Camper Vans. Now today we're going to be doing our top five camper van hacks. We've tried to think a little bit outside the box with these hacks, so these will be a little bit unusual and there'll be loads of hidden gems in and out of this video. So let's jump in to hack number one. So the number one camper van hack in our list is going to be mobile phone applications. And some of these are desktop apps too, so you can access them on your computer. And the first one is going to be an app called Camp for Night. And this is basically going to give you an interactive map full of free camping spots, campsites, and all sorts of places like that that you can camp. It's a really good resource if you need somewhere quick for the night, you can see what's available. People jump on there and if they've been somewhere nice, wild camping and it's a great spot and you're allowed to camp there, they'll post a picture and they'll make a note of it on the app. Now there is also a paid version of this which gives you access to more locations, but all in, the free version is excellent, it's handy to have, you can just load it onto your phone and if you ever wonder, oh, let's just stop somewhere here for the night, you can have a look and see what's available. And there is another one called Campy as well, which just works in the exact same way. So definitely check out those two apps. Now, the next app that we're going to recommend is the North Coast 500 app. And this basically has everything that you need to know about the North Coast 500, the location, everywhere you should stop on the way, places to eat. It's not tailored towards people in camper vans per se, but it is a fantastic resource and it's going to give you loads of information if you do plan on doing the North Coast 500. So recommend that one, definitely. The third one, again, not tailored towards camper van owners, but it's the All Trails app. I'll put a link to all of these down below in the description so you can download them before you head out camping this summer. And All Trails, uh, I use it a lot on my computer, but you can also get the mobile application and it's basically just going to show you all the great hiking, running trails around a location that you'd like to go to. So quite often when we head into the highlands, I like to hit a few hills, I like to do a bit of walking and this is going to tell me how difficult, how long, all those important things, the walk that I'm going to do is going to be. So definitely check out that one if you're into a bit of hill walking. So the next camper van hack is going to be the Gerba SOS kit or an emergency kit for your camper van. And basically we've written down a few things that we think you need to have if you're going camper van touring in the Highlands. And without a doubt, the first one is going to be a midge net for your head. You're going to want to have a head midge net to go along with. You'll probably also want some midge spray. You can get the stuff called smidge. Seems to work really, really well. But if the midges are out in force, they really will bother you. So definitely, definitely get some sort of midge repellent or mesh head net into your bag before you head into the Highlands. And that said, if you are prone to getting, you know, an allergic reaction to bug bites, you're probably going to get a few of them if you hit the Highlands. So definitely pack some antihistamines or some anti-allergy tablets, whatever it is that you've been recommended to take. Other must-haves for your camper van SOS kit are a microfiber towel. You get really nice ones that you can fold up into a bag. They're really small and they can actually absorb a lot of water and you can use them for all sorts, beach activities, all that kind of stuff. An obvious one as well is a first aid kit. If you jump on eBay or Amazon, you'll be able to get a really small, really handy first aid kit, which will have everything you need for any small bumps or scrapes that you might have to yourself on the way. Something that I've got recently and that I think everyone should carry is a portable charger. And it's just a little power bank. Again, you can get these quite quickly online. And my little portable power bank cost me 30 pounds and it'll do four or five, maybe even six full charges of my mobile phone. I have charged my laptop off it before, it didn't work too well, but if I had I got a better one, it probably would. I charge my camera with it, I charge all sorts of stuff with it. And great if you're out and you're walking too, to make sure you've always got a backup power source for your phone. And the last thing, which is a bit obvious, are some really neat, really small, fold up, waterproof raincoat and trousers. Definitely get some lightweight, packable waterproofs in there. And let us know, what would you add to this list? What do you have in your ultimate emergency pack for camper van holidays? We'd love to know, let us know in the comments below because no doubt I've missed loads of stuff. So the next thing to talk about is our top camper van storage hacks. And without a doubt, the number one camper van storage hack that I can give you is gonna be, don't buy any storage boxes, any storage solutions for your camper van until you've got your camper van. And we see it all the time. People buy loads of stuff and they buy loads of storage boxes and bits of kit to keep them inside the cupboards with. 
and by the time they've actually got their camper van and figured out what they take with them on a regular basis, because at first you'll take everything with you, when you actually know what your core kit's gonna be, nine times out of 10, they don't fit in the boxes that you've bought or you can't couple things together in those boxes. So you end up not using them. So wait until you've got your camper van and you'll figure out what you need in your cupboards and what boxes you'll need to put those things in and it's just gonna be a better way for you to do it. It'll save you having to buy things you don't need. And tip number two, hack number two, go watch after this video, Colin Doherty's video on our channel. Colin is one of our camper van owners and we did a great video with him which has been received so well where he took you through all the things that he's got in his camper van. He's got loads of kit and he shows you how he stores them and there's loads of nifty little camper van hacks and tricks and tips in that video. I'll link it below or you can click somewhere on the screen here, it'll pop up. Definitely worth watching, but make sure you watch until the end of this one first. The next top camper van hack we're gonna give you is actually a book recommendation and it's the camper van cookbook. This book is absolutely full of really simple, fantastic ideas for cooking in your camper van. And when you're away, you can be quite limited because you don't have everything you have at home. And sometimes it can be quite hard, quite difficult to think of what to make. And this will use just a few recipes that'll give you loads of ideas, so definitely check it out. Now, hack number two when it comes to cooking, if you just come in, on the Wallace Hob, you can actually cook the best toast. And Dave filmed a video on this, which is on the channel, which I'll link below. But basically, if you open up your Wallace Hob, you get a nice silicon sheet which goes over and you can place your toast on top of that and it makes fantastic toast. Now, what if you have gas? Well, there is actually a similar sort of mechanism for gas. It's a metal sort of cone which you put down, put your toast on and the gas comes up the sides and will cook the bread into toast. So camper van toast, absolute must have camper van hack. And if you'd like to go for something a little bit more sophisticated, there is also the Ridge Monkey and the Ridge Monkey basically cooks anything and everything. Now I know they've been out of stock for quite a while because it's been so popular, but I'll put a link below, definitely check out the Ridge Monkey. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick camper van hacks video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Keep watching because we've got a new episode of the Crafter Build coming out very soon. It's looking really, really good. I think you'll like to see that update. So thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.